In a tranquil village, nestled between towering mountains and lush forests, lived a wise Zen master named Kai. His serene presence and profound wisdom made him a beacon of peace and understanding for all who sought his guidance. Among his many followers was a curious young boy named Hiro, who was eager to learn the secrets of a peaceful and enlightened mind. One day, Hiro approached Master Kai with a troubled heart. Master, he began, my mind is constantly filled with worry and doubt. I find it hard to focus and feel at peace. How can I renew my mind and find true tranquility? Master Kai looked at Hiro with kind, knowing eyes. Come with me, Hiro, he said, leading the boy to a quiet spot by the village river. They sat on a soft patch of grass, the gentle sounds of the flowing water creating a soothing backdrop for their conversation. Hiro, Master Kai began, the mind is like this river. It can flow smoothly, or it can be turbulent. To renew your mind, you must learn to observe it without judgment and let go of the thoughts that cause you distress. But Master, Hiro interjected, how do I let go of these thoughts? They seem to cling to me, no matter how hard I try. Master Kai smiled gently. Let me tell you a story, Hiro. There was once a young monk who, like you, struggled with a restless mind. He sought the guidance of a wise elder, who gave him a simple task, to carry a bucket of water without spilling a drop. The monk set off, focusing intently on the water. Despite his efforts, he stumbled and spilled some. Frustrated, he returned to the elder. The elder said, Do not focus on the water, but on your steps. Walk mindfully, with awareness of each movement, and the water will remain still. The young monk tried again, this time paying attention to his steps rather than the water. He walked slowly, deliberately, and with each step, he found a calmness within. When he returned, the water was still, and his mind was at peace. Hiro listened intently, absorbing the lesson. So, I must focus on my actions, not my thoughts. Yes, Hiro, Master Kai affirmed. When you are present in the moment, you anchor your mind. Observe your thoughts as they come and go, but do not cling to them. Practice mindfulness in all that you do, and you will find that your mind becomes a still, peaceful river. Hiro nodded, feeling a sense of clarity. I understand, Master. But what if the thoughts are too strong, and I feel overwhelmed? Master Kai placed a reassuring hand on Hiro's shoulder. In those moments, remember to breathe deeply. The breath is a powerful tool to center the mind. Inhale slowly, hold for a moment, and exhale fully. With each breath, let go of tension and return to the present moment. Also, practice gratitude. Think of three things you are grateful for each day. Gratitude shifts your focus from what is troubling you to what is uplifting. As days turned into weeks, Hiro diligently practiced the teachings of Master Kai. He focused on his actions, walked mindfully, and observed his thoughts without attachment. Whenever he felt overwhelmed, he returned to his breath and practiced gratitude. Slowly but surely, he noticed a transformation. His mind, once a stormy sea, began to resemble the calm river by which he had learned so much. One evening, Hiro returned to Master Kai, his face radiant with newfound peace. Master, he said, I feel a change within me. My mind is no longer a source of turmoil. I can now observe my thoughts without being controlled by them. Master Kai smiled, his eyes reflecting deep pride and warmth. You have done well, Hiro. Remember, renewing the mind is a continuous journey. It requires patience, practice, and compassion towards yourself. Just as the river flows without end, so too must you continue to nurture your mind with mindfulness and gratitude. Hiro bowed deeply, filled with gratitude for his wise teacher. Thank you, Master Kai. I will carry your teachings with me always. And so, 
Hiro continued his journey with a renewed mind and an open heart, ready to embrace each moment with tranquility and wisdom. Through the guidance of Master Kai, he had discovered the true art of renewing the mind, a lesson that would serve him throughout his life. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.